my dear readers, listeners, and of course, friends. In the dark corridors of American satire, Tom Goes to the Mayor stands as a monolith of mockery, a relentless critique of the beleaguered American dream. The show, set in the dismal nexus of Jefferton, serves not merely as a backdrop for its tales, but as an emblem of every city swallowed by the voracious moor of unchecked capitalism. Here the alleged virtues of community spirit, commerce and sustenance are nothing but chimeras, fleeting and insubstantial, masking a deeper rot that pervades the American societal fabric. The protagonist, Tom, is the quintessential embodiment of this rot, a figure marooned on the desolate shores of modernity. He is the everyman of the neoliberal disaster, beleaguered by debt, ensnared in domestic turmoil, and intoxicated with the poisoned chalice of self-help rhetoric and entrepreneurial fantasy. Tom's tragic flaw is not laziness or lack of imagination, but an unyielding faith in the fundamentally rigged game of American capitalism. Each of his ventures, driven by desperation and naivete, is doomed to failure not by personal inadequacy, but by the systemic predations that define his reality. The mayor, in this tragicomic tableau, is the embodiment of the system's perverse incentives. A figure of authority twisted into a grotesque caricature, he orchestrates scenarios that promise upliftment, but deliver ruination. His role is not to serve his constituents, but to ensnare them in cycles of false hope and inevitable despair. He is the trickster god of Jefferton, doling out dreams with one hand while wielding the knife of betrayal with the other. Tom Goes to the Mayor is thus a narrative of Sisyphean struggle, where the protagonist's every attempt to ascend from his predicament only plunges him deeper into the mire. The series is relentless in its depiction of this struggle, employing absurdity and surrealism not for mere comedic effect, but as tools to expose the cruelty and absurdity of the protagonist's reality. Through this lens, the show becomes a powerful allegory for the plight of the modern individual, caught in a web of economic exploitation and social alienation. Moreover, the series serves as a damning indictment of the ideologies that underpin the American socio-economic order. It lays bare the hollow core of the myth of self-made success and the cruel joke of meritocracy in a system inherently designed to consolidate wealth and power at the top. The show's critique extends beyond the economic sphere, touching on the degradation of community bonds and the commodification of every aspect of human life, from family to friendship. In essence, Tom Goes to the Mayor transcends its medium, becoming a vital piece of cultural criticism. It forces viewers to confront the grim realities of a society that has been led astray by the false idols of consumerism and corporate greed. The show offers no solutions, no happy endings, but in its bleakness, it achieves a profound resonance. It is a clarion call to recognize the absurdity of our condition and perhaps, in that recognition, find the first steps toward reclaiming our humanity from the clutches of a system that seeks to diminish it.